Hi and welcome to part 4. In this part we're going to talk about the differences between more and merely models. It was mentioned briefly in earlier parts of this lecture, however I wanted to give you a few more details to make the differences and the uses of these two models a bit clearer. Sequential circuits are often called sequential machines and also called finite state machines. This is a term that you would hear much more in computer science. There are two formal models that exist. The Moore model, named after Edward Forrest Moore, who was an American professor in mathematics and computer science, and he presented the Moore finite state machine in a paper he wrote all the way back in 1956. For a Moore model, the outputs are functions only of the states. The red is just perhaps a way for you to remember which one's more and which one's merely, but that outputs are functions only of the states. It's irrelevant what the input is because it only matters what state you're in. And the outputs are usually specified on the states themselves. Another way to remember is that if you looked at the two models of the finite state machines next to each other, you would find that more model would have more states. The other model that exists is the Mealy model. The Mealy finite state machine is named after George H. Mealy, who was also an American mathematician and computer scientist, and he wrote his paper in 1955, the year before Moore published his work. In the Mealy model, the outputs are functions of both the inputs and also the states, whereas Moore was only states, this was inputs and the states. Therefore, the outputs are usually specified on the state transition arcs, that is, between one state and another state. This arc here is where you specify both the input slash the output. In general, every Moore machine is equivalent to a Mealy machine with the same states and transitions and output functions, but not every Mealy machine can be converted into an equivalent Moore machine. Some Mealy machines can only be converted to an almost equivalent Moore machine, but with outputs shifted in time slightly. Here are more and merely example diagrams. The top one is the merely state diagram, and you can see how we have the states inside the circle. We have state zero here and state one here. And then on these arcs, we have both the input value, for example, input x equals zero, and then we have the output y equaling to zero. Sometimes the x equals and the y equals is not written, and this would be written as zero slash zero, meaning that the input zero gives an output of zero. For this arc, we have have an input of 1 giving an output of 0. For this arc, the transition between state 1 and state 0, we have an input of 0 giving an output of 0. And here we have when we're in state 1 and we get a 1, then we have an output of 1. For the more diagram, which is equivalent, we have the states slash the output. So for state 0 giving an output of 0, in state 1 we have an output of 0. And notice it's been necessary to add another state compared to the merely model. So we have actually have three states here where previously we only had two and in this third state state two we get an output of one we can only go from state one to state two if we have an input x equaling to one and if we're in state two and we have input of x equaling one then we stay at state two but we also have an output of one if you trace this through you would get the same input output combinations as the merely model however we've just got the addition of this one extra state and then of course the difference being on the arcs, we're not showing the outputs, we're only showing the outputs inside the states themselves. State 0 giving 0, state 1 giving 0, state 2 giving 1. Here are some tables for the more and merely examples. On the left hand side here we have the present state. We have the present state 0. The next state, if we have a 0 input, is 0. And in fact, no matter which state we're in, whether it be 1 or 2, we find always goes back to state 0 given an input of 0. If we have an input of 1, then we transition from the present state of 0 to 1, or if we're in 1, we go to state 2. If we're in state 2, we stay in state 2, and if we're in states 0 or 1, we have an output of 0. However, if we're in state 2, then we have an output of 1, which matches with what we understand of a more model only having outputs on the states and no relation to the inputs themselves. In the merely model state table, we only have states 0 and 1, only need two states, whereas the more model we needed three states. 
The other thing you'll notice is that we can't just say what the output is based upon what state we're in. It also depends upon what input. So whether we have an input of zero and we're in state zero or one, or whether we have an input of one and we're in states zero or one. The only case where we get an output of one is where we're in state one and we have an input of one and then we get an output of one. Here's another diagram of more versus merely. If you haven't quite got it yet, showing more with state one giving an output of one, state zero giving an output of zero, it shows state A and outputs, state B and outputs, inputs are on the arc. For the merely case, we just have state zero, state two, for example, and then we have the input slash the output, input slash the outputs on the arcs in between the two states. Now it is possible to actually have a mixed more and merely type. Sometimes part of the diagram can be best expressed using more, like in the top corner here, where we have this state zero, zero, giving an output of zero, and then we have an input of one taking us from state zero, zero to state zero, one. If we're in state zero, zero, and we get a zero, we stay in state zero, zero, and we output zero. But then the rest of the diagram, is merely type where we have the states by themselves this is state one zero this is state zero one this is state one one we have these by themselves and then we have the input slash output combination and in some cases this can simplify the output specification so i hope now that's cleared up in your mind what the difference between the more and the merely state diagrams for the finite state machines is and that's the end of this part in the next part we will do a sequential circuit analysis including coming up with the logic diagram and the equations based upon the truth table. And finally, we'll create a state diagram for this circuit that we're analyzing. So I'll see you then.